So the following is a conversation or actually two conversations with two different AT&T representatives that were almost two hours long, but they've been condensed to about 30 minutes. Just the relevant parts. So the gist of the conversation is on this recording. We appreciate your call to AT&T. Okay, yeah, that's who I'm looking to reach. Um, for some reason, AT&T locked my pin. That's not appropriate because I can't use my phone. I can't even, um, like, unlock the pin on my phone. So I'm unable to use my phone for, like, even at home. I can't use my own Wi-Fi on my own phone. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, well, they have more amendments because they can see the problems that it, it is going on the device. So they were supposed to, to call. Well, they don't want to. They're just in denial. They're trying to tell me this isn't a 5G phone. They want me to buy another phone. But there is no problem if the phone is not a 5G. Oh, man. Okay, so can you just give me two minutes? I'm going to speak with my um, supervisor, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Um, we were looking for the... ...about your wireless service. Your approximate wait time is... Six minutes at att.com. We'll be with you soon. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. Um, do you have a record of me calling about five, ten minutes ago? Because the uh, representative disconnected me. So unfortunately... Yeah, I, yeah, I will be able to see uh, all the records uh, once I verify, um, you know, uh, your phone number. So uh, please go ahead and give me the phone number in question. Because he uh, disconnected the call after I was on the phone with him for 40 minutes. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, so he just disconnected the call and my situation has not, you know, he didn't help. Yeah, I hope that uh, I can help. So uh, uh, just because I'm having some error message, uh, please can you uh, confirm the number for me one more time? So, uh, you said uh, three one, uh, two, uh, 231 uh, at the first. Okay, this call is being recorded, okay? Because I was hung up on earlier. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I really appreciate your uh, patience with me here. That's weird. Do you see the notes from the other representative? Yeah, just a minute. Uh, so, uh, I'm still... Uh, Yeah, uh, still now, uh, I'm not able to log into this account, so um, it must be uh, there's something wrong, so uh, for the last Nope, time, I recorded the other thing. representative, there's nothing wrong with the account. Can you escalate yeah, this call? Yeah. You need to escalate this call, this is not yeah, working, yeah, this isn't working. One, uh, one, yeah, you need uh, to escalate minute. the call, and yeah, this is going to go on, no. okay, if I don't get help today with this call, this is going to go up on YouTube. Are you still with me? Yeah. This is being recorded, and if I don't get help today, yeah. this yeah, call yeah, yeah, is going to uh, go on YouTube. I, I would be uh, very glad to help you out, okay? So don't worry about that. So uh, just for the last time, because uh, I'm having some error messages from my end, okay? So I'm going to repeat the number for you one more last time, okay? And tell me if I got anything wrong in the number, okay? Okay. Okay, so the number is with the area code. Okay, let's go start all over. All right. All right, now I have, <laughs> I have that, that, that account. All right. Now uh, I logged into your account. So just, um, yeah, you can tell me uh, or give me a, a quick brief about uh, how can I help you today until I leave those notes. Okay, yeah, so um, the representative had me on the phone for 40 minutes and 
He was trying to get some help from his supervisor, and uh, the SIM is locked on my phone. AT&T is preventing me from using my 5G phone. When I go into the store, they keep pretending that this isn't a 5G phone because they want to sell me another phone. So I was able to make calls with this phone until about a week ago. They've been wasting okay. my time. I went into AT&T store twice, and I also went into the Samsung authorized technicians. The only way that they could unblock my phone is to remove the SIM. Is, is what exactly? Is to remove the SIM. And as you know, when the SIM is not in the phone, I cannot make calls. Uh -huh. So AT&T is intentionally blocking me from using my phone. Okay, uh, so uh, basically you want uh, to use your phone uh, with uh, another network provider, right? I don't understand your question. Could you repeat it? Uh, so uh, uh, just to make sure that we are on the same page, uh, your phone is locked. Uh, so uh, you want to use uh, or put another SIM card from another network provider with your phone? No. Mm hmm My phone yeah. worked until a week ago. Yeah. And you're aware that AT&T is a scammer and they've had the federal government find them millions of dollars because they always try to cheat the consumers. Are you aware of that? Yeah, I'm not aware of that, to be honest. Okay, so if you Google, uh, yeah, yeah, if you Google AT&T class, wanna, action, wanna, class action, class action, class action lawsuits, you will see a lot of information. So AT&T is actually interfering with my life. They are blocking me from using my own phone. When I go into the stores, the representatives say that this is a basic phone. It's not for 5G when they have the exact phone on their table for sale at A32, which has five circles on the back for a camera. Mm -hmm. It has an unusual yeah. camera style. So instead of looking at the phone, turning it around, identifying it as the 5G, they already know that it's a 5G phone because this is a phone that is on the list on AT&T. It's on the 5G list of phones that work. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I can totally understand. Uh, so yeah. uh, just, uh, just to make sure, uh, do you have the IMEI number for that device? Don't you have it? It's on the AT&T website. When I log on, I could see it. My yeah, point is that, okay, let me finish my story about at Go the ahead. store. They refuse to admit that it's a 5G phone. They want to sell me other phones. Uh -huh, okay, Even though okay. the about phone, about phone, shows that uh -huh. this is a 5G phone. And they, yeah, won't, yeah, and they won't turn the phone around to look at the camera because they know that this is a 5G phone. They keep saying that this is a uh, huh. A32 basic. Huh. So they keep lying to me and they were doing funny things with the SIM card as well. They were lying to me. They made me think that um, they were stealing my data. So I stayed up all night changing all my passwords. The reps at the store are doing strange things to try to prevent people from using a phone. They want to make their commission. They want to make money, right? You understand what I'm saying? They're trying to yeah, yeah, force... Yeah, I can totally understand you. Yeah, they're trying to force people to buy their phones. Uh, no, uh, as far as, uh, as I know, uh, there, there has been a, a total shutdown for the 3G uh, devices, not all devices. And uh, Oh, I understand uh, that. That's why, phone. that's why this phone, like I said, okay, let's not talk about stuff that doesn't apply to me. This is a yeah, 5G right. phone. Mm -hmm. I'm aware uh, of it. That's uh, why it, this is a 5G phone. Yeah, uh, as I can see, um, um, you, you have... Um, just a minute. You have Galaxy A32, right? Correct. That's right. Okay. So, uh, I, yeah, I, uh, now I totally understand you and uh, I can totally help you out with uh, whatever means I have. Okay. 
So just bear with me for a minute so I can review uh, all the details I need. Yeah, he uh, had I me resetting the phone. Audio. I was resetting the phone, removing the SIM, powering on and off, doing the uh, power uh, volume down, power whatever, power up uh -huh. at the same time. And yeah. it wasn't working. It was the same problem. Yeah. So he was trying I, to get okay. help from his supervisor, his manager. He said, the manager's not there. So, uh, yeah, you need to yeah, go, you, you need to escalate this yeah. call. You need to talk to your manager and supervisor and tell them that I'm going to put it on YouTube. This needs to be solved today. This is going to go up on it, YouTube. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can really uh, sense a lot of frustration and I can totally understand you, okay? I can really understand uh, what's going on, uh, uh, you know, uh, in your mind right now. So I can uh, totally understand that. So uh, I promise if I couldn't uh, help you out, okay, I'm going to get uh, my supervisor uh, for you, okay? All right, thank you. Never mention it. So uh, please, I just want you, you know, uh, just to try to calm down. Even I, I really understand the frustration that you are in right now. And let me give you my number in case of another, uh, like, uh, in Go case ahead. of another disconnect, alleged disconnect. Yeah, you can yeah, call ahead. my landline. So if anybody disconnects me, I need a call back. Yeah, yeah, this absolutely. needs to be solved today. Uh, yeah, uh, just let me um, confirm the number for you, Ed, right? Yeah, that's right. I got that right. Yes. Great. So uh, just, uh, you know, uh, bear with me for, uh, for one minute so I can, you know, review all of this and review all of your accounts uh, just to give you exact information, okay? All right, thank you. Never mention it. All right, uh, uh, and please accept my apology uh, in case uh, any, uh, you know, any uh, for any silence gaps. Yeah, no, that's okay. fine. Yeah, you're on speaker because this is being recorded. Make sure you let your manager know this is being recorded, and I'm gonna put it up on YouTube. Yeah, I promise. Uh, if uh, if I couldn't uh, give you the help that you need, I'm gonna uh, totally get my supervisor for you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Never mention it. It's my job. Um, this SIM card is from my old phone, but the representative at the store, he had two orange SIM cards and he was doing something on it um, with his uh, machine. He said he was trying to help me by giving me a new SIM card. What happened is that he denied that he had two SIM cards. So he was, he denied it and I saw it with my own eyes. The manager said that our SIM cards are blue and white now. We don't have orange ones. So he was doing something strange. He had two orange ones that were popped out. They weren't like on the card, on the holder. They were on the table. So I don't know if he had swapped SIMs and did something strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I saw so, uh, you got afraid and uh, you didn't uh, change that SIM card of yours. Well, what I did was I stayed up all night changing all my passwords. I stayed up all night changing all the passwords. Uh -huh. and he denied it and he pulled the blue and white one out of his pocket. He go, no, I didn't. This is what I had on the table. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, no problem. So then I complained uh, yeah, to the but, manager. Yeah, there is nothing wrong um, in changing uh, your passwords or something. Uh, it's extra security for you for, uh, anyway. He didn't do it. He said he was unable to transfer my information to a new SIM card. Even though it wasn't popped out, it was still on the card. I don't know why he's trying to pretend that he was helping me. I don't really know what he was doing. He was pretending to help me. But the blue and white card that he pulled out of his pocket, never seen it before, and never seen it before. And he pulled it out of his pocket and said that that was what he had on the table. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I told the manager, I think he's stealing my information because he had two orange ones on the table. And then he pulled the blue and white one out of his pocket and he denied having an orange one. He denied having an orange one on the table. I said, yeah. I've never yeah. seen the blue and white one before. I've never seen it before. And then the manager goes, well, we don't have orange sims anymore. We only have blue and white ones. I said, well, then yeah. he must be stealing my data. Because I turned around and I asked him, 
give me my other SIM card. If he duplicated my information, usually they give you the SIM card. They don't keep it. So he was trying to walk away, give me the other SIM card. And then he didn't answer me. I had to ask him two times. I said, give me the other SIM card. And then he hey. denied it. He denied it. Uh -huh. Why Why don't you um, um, report it uh, for, for his manager or something? I just said that I did. Uh -huh. The manager hey, said, we... Right? The manager... Well, listen, when I reported him to the manager, mm -hmm. the manager said, we don't have orange SIM cards anymore. Uh -huh. All right. So they're lying to my face. They're doing something strange and tricky. Mm -hmm. And now my phone doesn't work. The really strange part is that when I came home and I used the phone, I called an outside number that's on my contacts list. I was able to use my phone at that point. So I wanted to test the phone. I called an outside number and it said, your call has been rerouted to AT&T. And that please, was right on that, on that same night, right? The same night. And I said that, please uh, hold for an AT&T representative. Uh -huh. So I hung up. I tried it again. I called an outside number. I wasn't trying to reach AT&T. Called it again because I want to make sure. I called the outside number. Again, it happened. Uh -huh. Your call has been rerouted to AT&T. A representative will be with you shortly. So then a lady representative came on the phone. And you know what she said to me? Mm -hmm. She said, the restriction has been removed from your account. The restriction? The restriction. Mm -hmm. So then I hung up and then... The pin black was on my phone. Mm -hmm. Your pin has been blocked. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's what I can uh, read see, uh, right now from that note uh, from uh, that previous agent that you uh, talked to. That uh, the pin, uh, the pin from uh, the device, it's blocked. And uh, I, I don't know uh, what uh, what does he mean exactly by pin. You know how when normally when you swipe your phone, it'll ask for the, the numbers? Yeah, the PU key, you mean? So you can uh -huh. unlock your phone, right? You know how that works. Yeah. Okay, so that's not what I see. What I saw, what I'm looking at right now, uh -huh. your PIN is blocked. Please contact your service provider. Emergency calls only. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can totally understand that. All right, so uh, yeah, now I, I have the full uh, information, uh, information about this case. So uh, there would be for uh, two minutes. I'm going to put the call on hold just for two minutes, and I'm going to get back to you uh, as soon as possible, okay? Just to uh, check with uh, one of my colleagues about this matter, and I'm going to get back to you right away, okay? Okay, and let me just add that I spent about three days, right? Huh? Like resetting all my passwords because I thought someone was stealing my contact information. So I had to mm -hmm. reset all my passwords, stayed up all night. Then the next day, I went to the Samsung store for the Samsung technician. He said that yeah, the, great. He could not reset my phone. He said that the only way he could do it is if he removed the SIM. So if the SIM is taken out, then he could reset the phone it wipes out all my information. Mm -hmm. So then mm -hmm. I had to reinstall all the apps and everything from my old phone using Smart mm -hmm. Switch because I have my old phone with me. So I mm -hmm. reinstalled everything and then the mm -hmm. pin block w is back on. Okay. So AT&T is intentionally preventing me from using my phone that I paid for that has no problems on my account. AT&T yeah, so, is blocking uh, so me. So that's what we are uh, going to figure out, okay? So uh, now I, I understand. So uh, you said uh, that Samsung guy tell you uh, to remove the SIM card in order to, uh, you know, uh, unblock the device? 
Yes. Then the, I went to the at and store again. Uh -huh. So instead of that guy that was doing something tricky with my SIM card, I saw another uh -huh. guy. And then this other fella, he's in denial that my phone is 5G. Oh, that isn't a 5G phone. You have the A32 Basic. So I moved yeah, over. Even, I, yeah, even, yeah, even uh, if, if your phone is not supported, so it's not supposed to be a block or, a, or lock, okay? Uh, this is not supposed to be happen. All what you're going to um, uh, do if, you're, uh, if your device is not supported on our network. Oh, that's not that, true. So simply you're not going to uh, get uh, any service. Okay? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So this phone is on AT&T's 5G list. It was working. It was working fine. And so I just went to the about phone and this phone is identified as A32 5G. He's just like, oh, he was trying to sell me a new phone. Uh -huh. So he's like, I can't help you. I thought AT&T is doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyhow, uh, okay, so um, uh, as I mentioned, uh, let me put the call on hold just for two minutes to see uh, what I can do for you and get back to you as soon as possible, okay? Believe me, uh, I'm gonna do whatever in my hands to help you out, okay? Okay, thank you. Never mention it. Stay on the line. You're in control when you manage your account at att.com. Yes, hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm just letting you know uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna need another two minutes, so I really appreciate your patience with me. Yeah, sure. Okay, stay on the line. Yes, hello? Uh, yeah, uh, let me ask you, uh, is the, the SIM card, is it still in the device right now? No, it's not in the device now. It's not in the device. And uh, what exactly the message that you um, that is uh, shown to you when you try to uh, open the device? Uh, what does it say exactly? Well, when it's when the SIM isn't in the uh, phone, then I can uh -huh. see the phone like normal. Uh, work normal. When the SIM is not in the phone, it looks uh -huh. normal. Yeah, so uh, when the SIM is not in the device, so the device will uh, open with you uh, just fine, right? Yes, but it doesn't make calls. Yeah, yeah, of course, uh, because it doesn't have SIM card in it. So uh, now um, uh, it seems to be um, uh, your device is not locked or something, or uh, it's not blocked. I just check uh, on that from my end. So uh, all what you're going to need is a new SIM card, but I'm going to save you a trip. Uh, you're not gonna uh, have to, you know, go back to that store one more time. Uh, actually, I'm gonna um, order for you a new free SIM card, uh, and that will be uh, delivered right to your doorstep. Okay, and once you receive it, just put it in your device and give us a call back, and uh, just to update that ICC ID number for that new SIM card with your device, and uh, your device will be working just fine. Okay. So uh, the, the problem is not uh, it's not that big, uh, actually. But uh, you know, um, I, I really can understand the trouble and the frustration that you are going through. So uh, all of that is gonna uh, be solved uh, just by replacing uh, your SIM card. Uh, by the way, let me ask you: for how long do you have uh, that old SIM card of yours? Uh, so the SIM card uh, it has been with you for a long time, right? Yes, unless it was swapped by the AT&T salesperson. Yeah. So, okay, so uh, yeah, I, as I mentioned, uh, so uh, just because, uh, you know, uh, I don't want you to go back to that store one more time and, you know, uh, make you go through all of that, I'm going to order you a free SIM card and it will be delivered right to your doorstep and uh, that's basically all what you're going to need, okay? And just all what you're gonna need is a new SIM card. So uh, if you don't have, uh, if you don't want to wait um, uh, our uh, free SIM card, you can pay a visit uh, to another store, or I can order you uh, a free SIM card to be delivered to you. It's whatever that suits you. Uh, uh, order it and send it to me. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I'm not uh, sure if it, that's what it was though, because that lady said that she removed a restriction, but she blocked my phone even further. 
Yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is not the issue. I just double checked every angle on your account and um, from every aspect, all what you're gonna need is a new SIM card. That's it. Because uh, the problem is uh, the old SIM card itself. Because um, I don't know if you uh, if you know that or not. Uh, but since the 20 of second, the, the 22nd of uh, February, the last uh, 22nd of February, it has been a total shutdown for the 3G technology. Uh, and of course, all the uh, old devices, along with the uh, old SIM cards, will not support, uh, you know, uh, the new uh, the new network or the uh, the 4G or the 5G technology. Uh, it's not going to be supported by the old SIM card. So, well, uh, well the, let me ask you, uh, but, um, you know, like when they had, when he had the two orange old SIM cards on the table, uh -huh, I was uh -huh. complaining to the manager that he was stealing my uh, information. They were in denial and saying that um, the SIM card only holds my account information. It just has my phone number and uh, that my, uh, my account was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. That's what he said. So now you're saying something else? Uh, yeah, um, uh, let me, uh, you know, um, simplify that for you. Um, here in AT&T, we, uh, we, uh, we really, really prioritize uh, the customer's uh, safety and security. And um, we really do. We really do that. Okay, but um, yeah, of course, if you, if you feel uh, at any time, like, you know, uh, suspicious about someone or something, you have um, everything right to do, uh, you know, uh, by just going away from him. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, why is this yeah, pin? Okay. Why is this pin blocked? Like, did the other person steal my information? Yeah, I really don't know uh, exactly the reason. Uh, or, um, uh, yeah, I don't want to speculate here. But um, you know, um, as far as I uh, understand right now from your uh, account uh, details, all what you're gonna need is just a new SIM card. That's all what you're gonna need. Do you see anything about another cell phone using my phone number? Has my phone been used? Phone? Has my phone well, number been used? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's actually uh, not going to work uh, by any way, um, because I'm going to tell you why. Because uh, with uh, one SIM card along with one device, it's not going to work if, uh, if there is more than one SIM card. Or uh, Well, it's not working, but, right? I'm sorry? It's not working. Yeah, it's not working at all, uh, so um, <laughs> you should um, get a SIM card and you yourself give me uh, the ICC ID number for that SIM card to update it to your account and uh, of course it will be working just fine with you then. Okay, do you show any record of another phone using my account? Yeah, this is, uh, this is not, uh, this is not, um, you know, how can I say it? Um, this is not possible um, uh, by, uh, by it's other not, words, possible. It, it's only one SIM so, at a time. So the one yeah, SIM that I have is not working. So you under, do you yeah, understand I, what I'm getting I, at? I where, here, where uh, I'm, what, I'm uh, wondering about the other orange SIM that was on the table. Yeah. Have he put that SIM card on your device or something? He had his machine, you know, that machine that they have at the AT&T yeah, store. Uh, yeah, let me, let me tell you something. Uh, all that SIM card, uh, any SIM card that you are, uh, you know, uh, purchasing from a store, you will uh, basically get a blank SIM card. So it's, it's a blank, it's totally blank. So be having a number, a list, the customer itself, call the customer service and give them um, the, that SIM card number. Okay, we call it ICC ID number. And uh, I'll list that uh, so uh, it will remain a blank SIM card. It doesn't have any information or data on it. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. Okay, let me see. Was, uh, was my ICC changed in the last month? That's what I want to know. Yeah, I have, um, uh, in front of me, I can see all the records on your account, and there is nothing uh, suspicious has been uh, going on to your account. So nobody else used my, uh, my, my account, nobody made any calls, he didn't send yeah. the other SIM to uh, any a hijacker or any terrorists or bank robbers, right? He, he no, didn't, no, no, he no. didn't <laughs> send my SIM, that he, he, he had the other second orange SIM on the table that he tried to pretend was blue and white. 
He yeah, denied it and yeah, if you want to double check with me, uh, please give me that ICC ID number for that old SIM card that you have. I can double check if it's whether the same number I can see right now in front of me or not. Because you didn't update or get any uh, new SIM card. So uh, that SIM card I can uh, I look to right now to your account, it should be the same as your old one, right? I have no idea because he took both of them out and put it on the table. And you know they look uh -huh. the same, right? So I don't know if he changed or swapped or copied my information. That's why I stayed up all night changing all my passwords. Yeah, so uh, now you don't have that old SIM card of yours? You tell me. Okay, not a problem. So uh, this is uh, not going to be an issue uh, whatsoever, okay? Uh, I can do uh, one of two things for you to be uh, totally safe and, uh, you know, take all, uh, all of those concerns from you. I can suspend your account from my end, okay? So no one will be able to use that account of yours. And uh, when you receive uh, that, uh, that free SIM card, once you receive it, just give us a call back so we can unsuspend your account and, uh, uh, you know, uh, update that uh, SIM card to your account. Okay, but I, I still need... If that, if that seems a, a good resolution for you? Yes, but I need you to answer the question, has yeah. anyone used my phone in the last mm. week? No, ma'am, no one used your phone uh, in the last um, three to four days. Uh, I can uh, confirm on that. There is no one uh, beside of you. So uh, I really don't want you to, uh, you know, um, to be uh, feeling afraid or something about your information or something. Yeah, I really don't want you to feel uh, anything of that. So, uh, yeah, so I gave you uh, the best solution uh, to, to take all of your concerns away, which is, um, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to suspend your account. So uh, it's going to be suspended and it will remain suspended until you uh, call us back and tell, us, uh, tell the agent uh, to go ahead and unsuspend the, the account for you and give him that uh, ICC ID number for that new SIM card that you will receive and uh, of course you, can, uh, you will have an active account one more time. As long as your account has been suspended, so no one can, uh, can use it until you yourself uh, call us back and uh, give us the four-digit SIM code and ask us to unsuspend it. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> So uh, that SIM card can be delivered to you. Um, just a second. Now I'm gonna uh, text you uh, that order uh, number instead of just making you. Um, you know, uh, Where are you gonna out. text it to? Yeah, you have that right. So uh, you have a pen and paper uh, at your end right now. Yeah. So the order number is. You got okay. it. Yep, I got it. To keep track on your uh, SIM card delivery. Uh, so, uh, besides that, just as a quick recap here, you called us uh, to, uh, you know, uh, because you have uh, your phone locked, and we figure out that um, uh, the only thing that you are going to need is uh, just a new SIM card. Okay, uh, and. Um so, that's the conclusion of uh, my contacts with ATT. I'm waiting for the SIM card to arrive in the mail. And um, what they're saying isn't exactly accurate because they do have another cell phone. It's a uh, older phone, which I do not want to mention to AT&T because I don't want them to block that phone as well. But that phone is even an older phone that um, is working on their network and it is not a 5G phone. The phone works with the download of this app here. The name of the app is Samsung Band Selection. The image uh, in the video below. So give that a try. It was recommended to me by a at t rep before they locked up the phone. That other phone is working on their network. And I don't want them to do some other tricky nonsense to the other phone. So that concludes at least this week what's going on with this company.